When the Numwork Zeno 110 was launched in 2019, it had received a warm welcome for the many features which it brought at a low price point. However, after all of the actions the Numwork's company has taken in the past year, the N0110 has lost one of its major selling points, the ability to develop custom firmware along with loading apps not written in Python. Today, we'll be looking at the Numwork's calculator and whether it is still worth buying in 2022. Price-wise, the Numwork's is one of the cheapest modern graphing calculators on the market right now, being sold for around $99. US dollars. Despite this, it still manages to keep up with the features and hardware of other calculators. In fact, the N0110 has a processor which is not twice as fast, but four times as fast as MT-84 Plus CE, with a slightly larger screen size and larger graphing area as well. It comes with a rechargeable battery, which means you won't need to search around for some AAAs every time it runs out, like on some older graphing calculators. To charge the battery, it comes with a micro USB-B cable, which is slightly outdated but at least more modern than the mini USB used on TI calculators. The calculator is well designed and easy to use. It's one of the lightest calculators on the market, weighing around 170 grams with the case on, compared to the TI-84 Plus CE coming in at 200 and the TI Inspire CX2 at 241. The calculator's shape is easy to hold, and the keypad layout is clear and simple to understand. Sadly, the body of the calculator feels slightly cheaper than most and has a bit of a plasticky feel to it as well. While it hasn't gotten damaged yet, it certainly feels a bit flimsier than the TI-84 Plus CE and TI Inspire. Looking at the built-in applications, the N0110 has a solver and finance app, along with a calculator and graph, obviously, and some other useful features as well. It also has a statistics, regression, inference, and sequences app. The graph supports parametric and polar functions, though it does not have 3D graphing support without custom firmware. The N0110 comes with a Python app as well, allowing users to create Python scripts and games which they can run on the calculator. Sadly, it has less memory allocated towards the Python interpreter than most graphing calculators that support Python, though it does still have three times that of an 84 plus CE Python, and a bigger portion of the screen that is able to be manipulated by Python programs than both the CE and Inspire CX2. One feature the calculator does not have is a CAS, or computer algebra system, though this can be added through custom firmware. Speaking of custom firmware, we are brought to our first major con of this calculator. When the N0110 was initially released, one of its biggest features was the ability to install custom firmware on the calculator, adding many features and other functionalities to the calculator, such as a CAS, spreadsheet app, and periodic table. After a possible risk of cheating was exposed, Numworks decided to remove custom firmware support, though it is still possible to hack it back using a jailbreak called Phi, which I covered in a different video. This means that you can restore the initial functionalities of the calculator and gives you the features of a $200 calculator for half the price. Another important thing to keep in mind before you purchase the calculator is that teachers may not have experience with the N0110 as it is not as widely used as the TI-84 Plus CE or other calculators depending on where you live, meaning that they may not be able to help you if you're having trouble figuring out how to use it. However, thanks to the extremely user-friendly interface, it isn't that hard to figure out where things are, and you can always search for help online if you need it. The N0110 also has a free emulator, which is available on the Numworks website and is a mobile app. While TI offers emulators for their calculators as well, they are very expensive and require a license to use, which is quite impractical for most situations. With all things considered, I would say that the N0110 is still one of the best calculators on the market, especially with the Phi jailbreak adding more features as well. If you have any questions about the video, be sure to leave a comment, and if you found the video helpful, consider subscribing to support the channel. This has been Tiny Hacker, and I hope to see you in the next video.